When I first begin to craft a lesson, the first thing that I think about is my why. The why is my purpose for the lesson and it is the foundation for how I create my lesson plans. In this writing lesson, the kids are focusing on being able to brainstorm a story that they had for a personal narrative. During this time, the kids had the opportunity to be able to talk about their stories with their partners and then they were able to start crafting their stories and illustrating it through the use of a flip book. And in this flip book, we use different types of materials so that students can really explore with different modes of creativity and with different mediums that would allow them to be able to bring their stories to life. In this particular lesson, I wanted my students to be able to brainstorm their personal narrative piece. And the first step that I had my students take was to get together with a partner or a small group. And I wanted them to be able to articulate their stories to another person. I always tell my kids that in order for you to be able to write your story, you need to be able to say your story to someone else. And then the creativity starts to come out and the kids start to get really excited because they have their ideas kind of swirling around in their heads. So now it's having to get the ideas down on paper. And in order to do that, I want my students to go a little bit more above and beyond than just writing their ideas out. And I want them to be able to almost picture it. When students have the ability to picture something or kind of illustrate their what's going on in their heads, they have a better chance of being more descriptive in their writing and understanding where they're going when they're writing their story. So in order to get my students a little bit more creative with this lesson, I wanted them to almost think about a movie reel and how there are little parts of the story that you can see when you pull out a movie reel and you can kind of visualize and get an idea of where the story is going. So for this lesson, the kids had the opportunity to be able to draw out their movie reels onto either a flip book or however they wanted to create it. Some really like comic books and I let them have the flexibility to be able to pull it out into comic books because it's something that they're passionate about and where they can also be able to express themselves through their creativity. I wanted to give my students as much flexibility as possible with this lesson as well. So I pulled out different tools and I also pulled out different mediums for which my students would be able to to express their creativity. When we think about Crayola, we think about the markers and the crayons and the colored pencils, but Crayola is now really supporting and helping teachers being able to pull creativity into their lessons by supplying different tools, different lesson plan formats, and different resources that can really benefit teachers in the classroom with the integration of arts. By allowing our students to be creative in the classroom, we're giving them opportunities to really kind of think outside of the box. I feel as though sometimes for teachers, we often want to say that this is kind of the way your project needs to look like, and this is how it needs to be, or here is this pencil and this paper, and we're putting our kids in a box versus allowing them to be critical thinkers and to really kind of explore what their creativity and their understanding of different concepts and skills. So the best part for me is being able to kind of walk around and ask some of those questions of, well, why did you choose to express it in this way? And why did you choose to have this final product like this? Because it's always so interesting that we may not think that kids understand why they're choosing to do certain things that they're doing but they do, they do have reasons and they're able to really explain some of those reasons. So this is that opportunity when we allow our kids to be creative, to really kind of get to know them more on a personal level, but then also get to know them a little bit more as a learner and understand where they're going with their concepts. I so often will learn from my kids during some of these projects and they kind of blow my mind and they'll teach me something new because they can look at it from a very different lens than what I tend to look at things. So the value of creativity is not only just a really cute craft or a project in the end of it, but creativity can really unleash critical thinking. It can unleash a whole new world for you in your classroom, for your students, and for where skills and concepts can really go in the future. I hope that you were able to get a little bit of information out of this video and also get some ideas of how you can incorporate creativity in your own classroom.